The A-Line fitting system is truly about patient education. The patient gets to see, because in your office, the fitting station would be in front of a mirror, or you would have an iPad. So that when the patient comes in, and you've already, through the process of your evaluation, determined that they have some sort of a hip pathology or back pain, they get to visualize the connection between what's happening at their foot and the pathology that you've described to them in the practice. So they visually get to see in the mirror what you're talking about when you say words like pronation and supination these words become a little bit more concrete to the patient. For a proper fitting what I'm going to ask uh, Danielle to do is step in from the back and she's going to put her heels square in the heel cup and her second toe in the small canal on the foot plate. From this position here what we're going to do is we're going to ask Danielle to put about a five degree bend in her knees. A five degree bend in the knees because what we're doing is we're mimicking mid stance. Single leg support mid stance and walk. In that position right there, the body weight is coming forward and the mid tarsal region needs to respond with stability. So we're looking for movement tendencies as Danielle gets into this position. So in this position here, what we'll do is we'll turn the lasers on and describe to Danielle that we're looking for a position of subtalar neutral, mid patella with the laser, and up to the ASIS. Again, patient education. Danielle gets to see what we mean by pronation, supination, and how that's affecting her kinetic chain and her movement in her hips and knees. From that point, what I'm doing as I'm describing pronation and supination in the states of motion for Danielle, I'm looking down and noticing that her great toe, her second toe, are coming out to the letter N. In our sizing system, based on inventory, at this moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Danielle to step off the back of the platform and reach down across the front into our fit pack system. We have one size, a run of size for all of our A-lines, and I'm going to reach down and just grab the letter N. This affords us the opportunity to have every size in the office during the fitting process. In addition, you won't have to take new product off the shelf to fit your patients. So I'll put the letter N into the foot plates and have Danielle step back in. The ball of Danielle's great toe falls right into the window, the small little window, in the forefoot of the A-line on both sides. From that point, we, get, we again get Danielle into about a five degree bend, and I'm noticing movement tendencies. Is she in a subtel and neutral position, or is there excessive pronation or supination that we have to check so we don't extend the timing of that sequence during gait? In the process of evaluating Danielle after she steps back in to the A-lines, if, if we notice that there's still slight pronation on one side or the other or both, we can make adjustments to that. We can customize the A-line for Danielle's movement tendencies. I would reach down, just have Danielle lift her heel slightly up and bevel the back of the heel just two degrees. And take a look again. I'm looking in the mirror, Danielle's looking in the mirror, we're looking again for a sub neutral position and the, the laser going up through the legs. At this moment, if we're comfortable with the way the situation looks, Danielle has finished the fitting process. To complete the fitting process, Danielle's going to step off the stand and step into the pair of A-lines that she's going to take with her. We went from the blue fit pack, which stays with the fit stop, to the pair of A-lines that Danielle's going to take home. So she's going to step into these, and we're just going to check and make sure that our size is correct, that we've got a left and a right. And again, we're checking the size for Danielle to make sure the ball of her great toe drops into the small window at the forefoot of the A-line. In the fitting process, we recognize Danielle did not need clips. Her motion was neutral. If, in fact, she did need the clips, based on the bevel of the heel, there are two and four millimeter clips in every package of A-lines. If we do need to do that, all we're going to do is tongue and groove on the medial or lateral side a gray or black clip. Just pops in the side and off we go. To finish up the process with your patients, you describe to them the break-in process. Like most um, inserts, we're asking our patients to wear them for a couple of hours the first day, walk around, just get used to the feel of it. Second day, same thing, a couple of hours. By day three or four, they're doing their normal daily activities and by day five or six, they're wearing the A-lines all day long.